Good morning, good morning. It's early as hell and I need my coffee. This is my lovely counter. I'm going to go ahead and pop this container open, get this coffee pot up out of here, toss it in my heaven-made machine, and get this into my blood. You know, why am I talking like this? This is not how I talk, okay? Let me not do it, okay? It, 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 the video got me caught up. But anyway, I do need my coffee every morning. Those who know your girl know coffee is the way to my heart, and this machine here was the best gift anyone has ever gifted me in their fucking life. You hear me? It takes its time coming out, but baby, when it come out, that is like crack in a motherfucking uh, machine canister, whatever this thing is. I can't wait to put you in my belly. I can't wait. So let me go ahead and close this container because my kids know I don't like things to be left open. So if I don't want them to do it, I'm not going to do it. That's on what that's on period. So we're going to go ahead and get this cup of joe in and let's go. What's up, JT fam? It's your girl, JT, back with another video. And as you can tell by today's title, your girl needs a new wig. And she's going to meditate and she's going to listen to her affirmation because, baby, when a devil tries you, he fucking tries you. So, as y'all saw, I just made my cup of joe, my motherfucking coffee. And yes, I curse. Yeah, I'm spiritual, but you can still be me <laughs> at the end of the day. Okay? Okay. So let's get today started because uh, I'm kids at school and baby, it's time. It's time. It's time for work. It's time for work to fix this shit. Period. Okay. All right. Let's go. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for the voiceover. Let me explain my process and see, you know, if it works for you. When it comes to meditating, I find my area. When I find my area, I have to sage it. The purpose of saging is to get rid of any negative energy that could be within the area. No, this is not like, you know, ghosts and shit. No, this ain't that. It's just, you know... It, it could be negative energy surrounding you, whether you be angry or you still mad at your husband, spouse, loved one, kids, that is negative energy. You need to get rid of that in order to find your peace, in order to find your center. You can't do that while still angry. You do that while still angry, you're just going to become pissed. You don't go from angry to pissed. We don't want that. That is not the purpose of meditation. That is not the purpose of aligning yourself with the universe. Okay. All right. So that's what you see me doing. I'm mainly focused on my mental. I need to make sure any negative things that I have going on, I need that gone. I need it gone like right now. You feel me? Because your girl ain't got time for that. I am a new person. I am a new being. All Anything that I attract is all positive. You know what I'm saying? I only want positive energy around me. So right now I'm sitting here. I'm getting comfortable. I'm about to go into my meditation. I have my little sitting stands, whatever you want to call it. I stretch and then I zone out. When I say I zone out, I clear my mind. I'm going to read you a passage that I read from my book. And it sat with me last night. And that's what I'm meditating on. Your heart will guide the way. And there is no mistakes or wrong turns. Your soul craves adventure. Feeling convicted is your higher self inviting you to leap out of your comfort zone. If you feel conflicted and you're not sure which direction to head, please meditate on this. Dear Universe. May I know and may I now be guided from within to choose the path to serve greatness good. I trust that there's no wrong turns, just valuable experience and, and lessons that helps my soul and heart to flourish and grow. So be it, so it is. Some of the things I do also think about when I'm closing my eyes and meditating is some of the manifestation that I am manifesting today. I manifest growth. I manifest consistency. I manifest that YouTube be my number one source of income, making a six figure within the next year. Be realistic with your manifestations, people. I manifest positive energy. I manifest financial freedom, generational um, wealth. I manifest happiness. I manifest love. I know that God loves me. The universe loves me. My kids love me. My family love me. I'm healthy. My kids are healthy. My partner is healthy. We are whole. We are one. We are safe. The universe is aligned with me. I am open and I'm receptive to all that the universe have to offer me. And I really am. I know that there's a higher power. I know there there is a lot out of out there. So, yeah. Out of my eyes. I'm at peace with the day. And let's get my shit started. Period. All right, JT gang. It's time to go and look for a wig. Uh, I think the store opened at 9.30, I'm not sure. But I wanted to hop on here and tell y'all, I love to meditate in my living room. The reason I do is because of that window right there. I feel like when I meditate that the universe is looking down on me and helping me clear my thoughts and get what I need out and just start my day off peacefully. Like, 
period. I don't want no problems. I don't want no beef up in these streets. All right. All right, let's get ready to head on outside. All right, so let's check out the fit of the day before we leave. I have just some flared out pants that I don't remember where it came from. I have this cute little, you know, fitted top from Forever 21. I have this purse here. Um, it was a promo bag, got it from uh, a boutique on Instagram. And then I have these shades and on the feet, I have Crocs. <laughs> okay so y'all already know if it don't make sense it's for me baby i don't have to be so uh brand out y'all know i'm not a brand bougie bitch not saying those who like brands are bougie it's just not me it's just not me so we're gonna go ahead and head the fuck out all right let's go all right we're finally 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 out of the house and headed damn i have this air pod in my ear i hope you guys can hear me we're gonna go ahead and head right over to the beauty supply. I had to wait for the grass people to finish mowing my lawn, which felt like forever, but whatever. I never drove with y'all before. Hey, I'm coming up, y'all. I'm coming up. Bye bye, baby. No, I was just playing. I'm playing. <laughs> Let me stop my window down. It actually feels pretty good out here. Like, fucking for real for real so i'm going to get a wig because look 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 at her like she's growing she's growing like she's growing i'm all in my hair i'm taking care of it the only thing is when i wear wigs ladies we have a habit of neglecting our real hair because it's underneath it's like boop we take it off we put another one on but some ladies out there y'all do all y'all head y'all hair and salute to you but me personally when i had my wig my eczema really got out of control especially if my hair was not braided it was just slicked back my eczema got out of control and i didn't take care of it because i'm like what the fuck for like no one can see it and then it grew on my forehead and you know long story you know whatever i hope y'all came with the wind so yeah let me raise it up there we go so yeah so um that that's my biggest fear i neglect my hair but that's why i'm building new habits so if i know that my hair needs to be oil bitch i'm going to oil it so the wig i saw a wig on amazon right 79 bucks human hair come today right it looks really light on the pictures even when i see the reviews so i'm scared i'm scared that if i get that motherfucker wig it's gonna be white and then i'm gonna be out here looking like barbie and I'm not trying to be Barbie. But I do want to keep my blonde because, shit, it became a vibe for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once you go blonde, you don't go back black, period. Well, not me anyway. So, yeah. And I'm looking real bald-headed-ish right now, which is also fine. Because I can pull that shit off, period. But look, like my new rose. Bitch, who you know? Who you know finna work it like this? Not me, not she. And then when I wear it in a curly, um, the curly look that it's it gets really dry. So yeah, we're gonna head to get this wig. And then we're gonna head back home. I want to stop and get a case of Trulies. I feel like y'all just fucking judged me. It is currently 9.35 a.m., but I'm not going to drink it this early. I just want to go put it up. Make it make sense. I want to just go put it up, period, point blank. That's it. That's all. But let me talk to you hoes real quick about building habits. I've been reading this book, Atomic Habits, and, bitch, I got to break this down to y'all when, when I get back, when I get back. But we finna go get this wig. I really don't know what the fuck to talk to y'all about while I'm driving. I want to play some music. But I don't want to get demonetized and YouTube don't try to pay me for this video because I want to get all crunk with y'all and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're going to head the fuck out and get some shit done. I'm trying to think. It, it was something I wanted to talk to y'all about. What it was, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and let's give it up for the kids going back to school. Where the ones that's not in the city. City go back to school, I think, next week. Y'all stay the fuck focused. And let us parents enjoy our time. Don't say you motherfuckers are sick. Because we're not picking y'all up this year. Because motherfuckers are always trying to close school down. Whether it's monkey pox. 
or whatever. So uh, in the meantime, in between times, stay out at school, and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, so the beauty supply is literally like 15 minutes from me, so y'all don't miss me. What time it is voiceover time so clearly we have to be supply i'm gonna walk up in here as i'm walking i'm praying i'm praying and i'm walking come on open these doors let's, let's see what they got for your girl all right so as soon as i get in boom i noticed the hair that's all on the right side but it looks very shiny so i'm assuming these are all synthetic and then when i asked her she confirmed that those are all synthetic so i'm like screw let me go ahead and move over to the left because your girl want human hair if i'm gonna buy hair if i'm gonna buy a wig it needs to be human i'm seeing braids i'm seeing blonde i'm seeing black i'm getting i'm seeing red i'm seeing everything but what i want to see the blonde that they have is not the blonde that's that's comfortable for me you feel me it got to be comfortable for me so they do have some shit on the lower shelf so i'm over here i'm trying to look i'm, I'm praying and i'm looking and i'm praying lower shelf come on show me what you got show me what you got yeah i ain't got shit for me come on jesus fix it look at that blonde but that's too blonde for me that's yellow blonde hey girl what the hell you looking at i love your hair but anyway yeah I'm, I'm feeling not confident all right so boom all right she's helping me look but then she said all natural hair comes in one b i said well fuck it so now i noticed these two bras right here looking real gorgeous in a little you know twist and in the braids i know this is not what we came here for but at the end of the day these hoes caught my eye so i'm like hey i love your hair but i really love your hair but you're giving me very much set it off vibes so do i want to go and take you home with me and set this bitch off let's see y'all i'm fucking nervous like Low key, they didn't have not low key facts. They didn't have no blonde human hair wigs, and you know the lady had to remind me human hair wigs come in the human hair color, which is fucking off black or whatever, right? So she was like, "But you can buy one and color it." No, bitch, because if I wanted to do that, not bitch as in a negative way. She was very sweet. Uh, no, lady, if I wanted to do that, I have thirty inch wigs at home that i can cut and do myself you know i came here to you know get the one stop shop you know i'm I, that's what i wanted so the wigs you saw the two at the end i got one of those bitches this is the disappointing part okay i tried on one um i didn't record it because one i was trying to put that cap on without fucking up my hair because i gotta go get my kids baby i can't just pick them up looking like uh a stay-at-home mom that's just fucking depressed no we don't do that so i tried the motherfucking one the curly one now that is my signature i like big and messy hair you know what i'm saying i'm a hippie i keep telling you motherfuckers that i, I was a hippie in my past life i truly believe that stuff all right so you know i've been there done that you feel me and sometimes big hair make you look bigger let me say it again big hair sometimes big hair make you look bigger right so that's why i start wearing my big hair because it just you know it got a little hot so i got the little bob gray right damn i just told y'all what the fuck i got i got that right i couldn't try it on they had some rule about trying on braids i don't know what the fuck the rule is but anyway it reminds me of set it off like i'm about to just go call you know call the crew and we're gonna go rob a bank that's what it's giving me like i'm not sure y'all i'm so fucking nervous and then i wonder because my head size is bigger than a mannequin when that bitch stretch i don't know now i'm thinking should i have bought this bitch so the wig right the wig was a decent price it was a decent price but I hope when I put it on, you know what I mean? When my head, if your head bigger and the wig stretch, you can see the seams and shit. Because it's braided. It's not a full lace. Because uh, they won't be selling it there. And if they did, I wouldn't pay for that shit. Because a full lace, you know, it costs about money. But I do have a full lace wig. But it's the braids are so big, it make my hair look bigger. When you got a big hair, you don't need no big motherfucking braids and big motherfucking wig. Know what you know. You gotta, you gotta know what works for your fucking hair. And that shit don't work for mine. So I'm hoping it turn out, it does flip under but i'm gonna fuck with it i'm gonna fuck with it because i don't want them bitches to flip under i don't want no fucking bump on my braids i want it a little messy so i'm gonna be you know i'm gonna do something like this i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm regretting buying it already i'm thinking y'all i'm thinking should i just turn around and return it and get my little money back or just take that bitch home i'm gonna take it home i'm gonna take it home i'm gonna take it home 
I'm gonna take it home because I have to give my hair a break. But I'm gonna miss the shit out my blonde up under this motherfucker. What type of bump is that up under this damn wig? But I gotta remember my hair is. You know what? Fix the streets, Plainfield. Uh, I gotta remember that. You know. I want my hair to grow. I want to stop fucking with it. I got to do what I got to do, baby. I got to. <sighs> oh. I'm at a stoplight. So I got the number two. I ain't want fully black because, you know, that's a little aggressive. You see, on the picture, she, she look fine, but I don't know. Then I can't try it on this video because I gotta keep my hair looking A1 to go get my kids. So tomorrow, turn on them notifications. Turn on them notifications so tomorrow you know we your girl post trying to show y'all this motherfucker wig. And we gonna fucking pray, all right? All right, uh, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your notifications so you know when I post so you won't miss out on the motherfucking tragedy that I just fucking signed up for. All right, um, we're headed back to the crib. I'll see y'all. I'll meet y'all at home. Okay, guys. I'm back home. Okay. So, here's the wig, right? It's very much giving me set it off vibes. Like, sis is cute. And I probably bought it because she was cute. But, I don't know. Like, it, it does give me this. So, you know, you could put some makeup on it. You could have, like, versatility. Let me Let me do it like this. You can have like, God damn it, Trace. You can have like versatility or whatever, but it only goes so far. It only goes so far. You feel me? Like, it's 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 giving me bump, girl. I don't want no bump, so I'm gonna play with it. I can't try it on for y'all now, cause like I said, I have to go pick up my kids from school a little later, and I can't be going over there looking like a depressed mom that's just been at home drinking and, and crying all day. So I only got a couple of juice left on my battery. So I wanted to tell y'all, I don't just be about this life. I am this motherfucking life, bitch. When it comes to mani manifestation, affirmation, and meditation, I am about that life. I journal. Boom. I fucking journal. Okay. Last entry. August 17th. Okay. I fucking journal. I'm about this life. I have this book that goes hand in hand with this other book, which is Dear Universe. It goes hand in hand with Atomic habits everybody needs to build that shit i don't give a fuck who you is if you don't believe in something believe in your motherfucking self and build and building fucking habits period point blank but it was this one that i'm working on right look i even got motherfucking uh uh stickies in here because i got something to tell you hoes you hoes what to do hey um it's this thing about building atomic habits right atomic habits are short-term habits short habits that Go into the long term. Like you automatically get up and you breathe. That's an atomic um, habit. It happens. You don't got to think about it. Your heartbeat, you ain't got to think about it. When you get up, you check your cell phone. You ain't got to think about it. You get up, make a coffee. You ain't got to think about it. You get up and flip on the light if it's dark. You ain't got to think about it. Motherfucker, it's dark. I want to see them flip on the light. Those are atomic habits, okay? So I'm working on building mine. And it's one thing in here that helps you, right? So you write down your normal habits and you write down the habits that you want to implement and make a normal habit right boom keep up because my daddy's heard a lot and i ain't got time to you know what i'm saying talk slow so you build up your habit like a normal habit is get out of bed take a shower brush your teeth get dressed blah blah blah, blah. and then your other habit and you implement the habit that you want so boom i'm gonna let y'all into my personal boom here we go i got my other book i, I utilize some shit stickies all the air day so and I'm just telling for my ladies that want to learn to meditate, affirmation, and want to become more peaceful and humble, but you don't want to read a thick-ass book, I'm here to break shit down to you, boom. So, my normal habits, you see it right there, is a normal, normal habits, right? My normal habits, wake up, find clothes, brush teeth, wake the kids up, make coffee, blah, 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 blah. My habits that I want to incorporate to make it a normal atomic habit is meditation, listen to my affirmation, and journaling okay so i journal every night but sometimes i'll be missing that shit since i'll be missing it so how do i combine it in order to combine your habits to make it a normal habit you have to write it down but you got to be specific with the shit you feel me so 
Kabat, affirmation while making coffee in the morning. The specific part, in the morning, because I make coffee all day every day. I must make me another cup, but you know what I'm saying? No judgment. I feel like I'm high off caffeine right now, which I'm probably am. But anyway, so my other one, meditation. Meditate after dropping the kids off at school in living room. Boom. You all saw me. I meditated in my living room after I dropped my kids off. Specific, I was in the fucking living room. That is my place of meditation with no distraction. I feel more at peace in my living room because of that window. That window, you know, I just feel like the universe is looking down on me. Period. Point blank. Journaling. Journaling right before bed, before touching my phone, looking on social media. Say it again, sis. Journaling right before bed, before I touch my phone, listening to watching social media. I have a habit of going to sleep watching social media. So, I journal before I can touch my phone. If I'm just getting out the bathroom or whatever, I'm getting ready for my night time in my bed because I don't like to lay in my bed with clothes that I'm worn all day. Once I get in the bed, before I go skirt, TikTok, skirt, Instagram, tip, skirt, 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 I need to journal. I need to get out my emotions and help me clear my head because sometimes you grow. She's still a work in progress, pure point black. So, I'm telling y'all, I used to be an angry bitch. Some say I get it from my mama. Some say I get it from my father. I didn't get it from both of the mugs, but I'm more at peace with who I am. I'm more at peace with a lot of things that's going on. I'm more at peace with who I'm dealing with because, you know what I'm saying, I always, with all the men that I fucked with, I always get attitude with them because they're not who I want them to be versus me accepting who they are because I met them on who they are. Make it make sense? I can't. I can't. I can't. So, I'm telling y'all. These two books go hand in hand. I don't know what geared me to getting both of them. I got them from Barnes and Nobles. This book here was shit. I don't even know. They ain't got the price on the back of the book. But this book here, it gives you little um, little meditations to meditate on and stuff like that. I believe I said one of them at the beginning of this video. If you want to recap what that was, go ahead and uh, watch the video again if you want. And then tomorrow I'll be turning on. I'll be putting on this wig. So y'all can see what the fuck mistake or non-mistake. I manifest that this wig gonna turn out perfect, period. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to the right wig, period. I manifest everything in my life, period. All right, it's been real, it's been fun. It's my little short, little mini little video. Today is Thursday, so, and it feels good outside in Illinois. So if no one ever told you, let me be the first to tell you, I love you, you are beautiful. I'm sure you have such an amazing soul. One advice that I give you, if you're in a bad mood and someone call you or if you just had an argument with someone and they give you a call, try breathing before you answer, breathe and smile. Once you smile, I guarantee you positive shit, your mood is going to change no matter how pissed off that you are. Stop arguing with people. Life is too short. The universe is beautiful. Get outside. Take a breath of fresh air. Look up. Be grateful that you're still here. Be grateful for your health. That's all I like, guys. So yeah, that is me today. Thanks for wrong with me to look for a wig. I'm sorry, I can't try it on. I'm sorry, this video is not longer, but I'm worried about it. Okay, peace. Bye.